If you're new to Formula One, you might have heard a radio message during the Grand Prix asking a driver to box. In other words, the racing team asking the driver to come in for a pit stop. In this video, we will discuss all about Formula One pit stops. Let's start by looking at the pit stop crew. The crew consists of 18 members. There are four wheel gunners, one for each wheel of the car. They use a pneumatic wrench known as a tire gun to remove the car's single locking lug nut from each tire and then reinstall it on the new tire. There are eight tire carriers, two for each wheel of the car. They work in tandem with the wheel gunners. Once the wheel nut has been loosened, one, the old tire is removed by one carrier and a new tire is put in place by another. After the car has been lifted up, two stabilizers stabilize the car on each side at the middle of the car. There is a front wing man who, if necessary, adjusts the front wing angle of the car to provide more or less downforce. This can be done while the tires are being changed. In the event that there is damage, the front wing man will change the entire front wing. This can take some time. The strategy as to if and how much the front wing should be adjusted is discussed prior to the pit stop. You will often hear radio messages by the driver asking for more or less wing. This is referring to how much he wants the front wing man to adjust the front wing angle. There is a front jack man who will lift the car as soon as the car stops on its mark. This is considered the most dangerous position in the pit crew because if the driver fails to stop for any reason, this person can be seriously injured. The rear jack man comes in behind the car after the front has been lifted up and lifts the back of the car up. There is also one crew member who is a fire extinguisher. He's always ready in case there's a brakes on fire or fire in the car. Formula One is unique in that both drivers use the same pit crew. This is different than other motorsports where you might have seen each driver having their own pit crew and pit area. The pit lane has a strict speed limit of 60 km per hour or 80 km per hour depending on the track. The FIA can enforce penalties or fines for violating the speed limit. To avoid this situation, drivers have a pit stop button on their steering wheel, which when pressed will keep them within the speed limit designated for the race. You might be wondering, what about refueling? And how does a driver know when the tire change is complete? Let's start by looking at refueling. Refueling was allowed in Formula 1 until 2010, but it was banned for safety reasons. If you see some of the older Formula 1 videos, like when Michael Schumacher was in his prime for Ferrari, you will see that there's a refueling man who was part of the pit crew. Refueling was a big part of the race strategy as well, because drivers could start the race with low fuel loads and then fuel up more during the middle of the race. In today's Formula 1, this element of the strategy has been taken out. All cars start with a full fuel load. Of course, teams fuel the car with as little fuel as needed to complete the race as possible. This is why you will often hear radio messages during the race asking drivers to manage for fuel. Although it rarely happens, the worst possible way for a driver's day to come to an end would be to run out of fuel during the race. Now let's look at how a driver knows when a pit stop is complete. In the past, you would have seen a lollipop man holding a stick which he would turn from stop to go to let the driver know when to leave. In today's Formula 1, a driver is notified when he can leave the pit stop through an electronic light system. When the car is parked for a pit stop, the light is red. When the pit stop is complete, the light turns green and the driver can drive away. Different members of the pit crew have to click a button to confirm that their job is complete before the light turns green. For example, each wheel gunner has to press a button confirming that the new tire has been securely installed. In addition, a spotter will have to click a button confirming that there's no traffic before this light turns green. Now let's take a quick look at pit stop strategy. In Formula 1, the ideal time to take a pit stop is during a safety car or a virtual safety car. This is because all cars on track are forced to drive at a slower speed, either following the safety car or abiding by the virtual safety car speed limits. During this time, the effective time lost will be less than under normal racing conditions. In a typical racing scenario, the most common strategies employed are the overcut and the undercut. Look out for a future video where I will talk about these strategies in detail. Now I'd like to hear from you. Do you think that refueling should be brought back to Formula One? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula One content.